So a heads up for this video, I have been using the GoPro Quick app to do most of my editing, all of my editing, and now they're trying to replace it with something that they say is better. It kind of sucks. I have yet to manipulate it the way I have this app, and a lot of my videos are kind of getting cut short and chopped up. So uh, I just realized that editing this one hopefully i can find something else if you have any suggestions drop down in the comments uh i can't pay for it right now so the free stuff's the better stuff First kind of disclaimer about this, yes, I know these are two completely different size bags, but for all intents and purposes, it's, it will work with anything from a sandwich bag to uh, pretty much the biggest type of Ziploc bag you can find. And it's important to get some good heavy duty stuff. Don't skimp out and buy a bag like the first one I'm going to show you for a couple reasons. One the zipper or the locking or whatever it is isn't going to stay as tight and to the materials just not going to hold up i mean i've been riding for a while and i've done this with a, a couple of bags just to kind of get me through and i finally decided to sit down and actually make another one of these and hopefully it works out for me so your original, like I said, great value, Walmart bag. Go from that to something like this. This has it to where you can zip lock it still. And then with this stuff, you can roll it up and then kind of flip those things over the edge here. Uh, keep it rolled up. So, you know, not only is the zip lock keeping the water out, but that, uh, that extra little roll right there at the end will keep water from getting even close to where it can get in there. So other than waterproofing, a good benefit, you probably heard it as this one, real flimsy, real kind of noisy, not a real big issue, especially, you know, I'm, I haven't seen a lot of bikers like, that bag's really noisy, I don't like it. But you know, I don't know, might be some people that are going to schools or in kind of like an office job watching this. You go to pull that out and it's going to kind of draw attention. People are going to be like, well, what the hell is he fooling around with? Whereas the, after I'm done with it, it sounds more like a cloth. I mean, you could sit there and you don't have that crinkling sound. And that's something I really like. And you can tell just kind of from letting it flop around here it's a it's a good bit heavier so what I recommend for this stuff I've actually used some aircraft tape that has you can kind of see it right there that little checkerboard is actually fibers so it makes the tape even though it's super light it makes it significantly stronger uh, it's not going to resist a tearing as much just because it is a lighter tape, but I'm going to have this inside of a very cushiony backpack, so I'm not really worried about that. For anybody else doing this, I'd recommend getting a like good adhesive tape that's you know got something on the outside that's going to kind of protect you from the weather. The best stuff I've seen so far is Gorilla Tape made by you know like the gorilla glue company that stuff will hold up it'll make this bag feel super thick you'll still be able to kind of do the whole rolling up thing and it's not going to deform it's not going to stick together and that adhesive is going to hold on forever so it's really easy you can see the seams right here so just cut you the tape and what i do is i usually go from right there at the bottom of the zipper and I usually go probably about an inch, inch and a half uh, past the bottom edge. That way you can fold it under. 
then smash it down. And then when you go to do the other side, you do the same thing. So you have a little bit more uh, support down here on this edge. And then for the sides, I do the same thing. I take that tape. This tape is, looks like about three, four inches wide. So I took that piece and almost halved it up and then folded it around. So each, each side right here is also reinforced, which makes it, you know, it makes it last a little longer. Uh, as for my little roller thing right here, kind of works the way uh, like some of these chip bags and cookie bags and stuff work. You roll it up, or a, a better example, coffee bags uh, with coffee grounds, coffee beans, stuff like that. You roll it up, it has those little wire things on the end, you pinch down, and it just keeps it from unrolling so it keeps some moisture out. And that's really all I tried to do here with mine. I actually got a hold of some uh, also, I figured I'd mention uh, I'm almost 3,000 miles on the bike now, so I'm going to do a kind of pros and cons review of this bike before I start tearing into it. The original plan for the bike was one of my co-workers is starting to ride, never rode before, so I was getting the bike, getting it just 100% perfect so he could start riding plans kind of fell through for him he made a couple good adult decisions going to help him out through life so after this 3,000 miles i'm going to go ahead and do the fluid change that i usually would i'm going to refresh the clutches because they're kind of fried uh can't really tell unless you're on it on it which not a lot of people that are going to be riding this bike will be like that unfortunately i am because i like to get on and dog the hell out of pretty much anything that I own. So I'm going to refresh the clutches and...